Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. My beloved, today we read from the Gospel according to St. John. In chapter 6 in the Gospel of John is probably one of the most powerful and one of the most important chapters in all of the Gospels. Because in this very long and very important chapter, we begin by reading the, the very famous miracle of our Lord Jesus Christ where he takes the very little that is offered by the people around him and he manages to feed thousands upon thousands of people when he takes those five loaves and two fish. My beloved, I have a confession that I want to share with all of you. It is a little secret of mine that I like to watch videos of people taking things that are old and broken and restoring them into making them something better. I especially like to watch those videos of people taking the rooms in their houses that are completely broken and rusted and the walls are falling apart and they completely turn them into something that is beautiful and majestic. I love to watch this process of people taking something that is very simple and very broken and then turning them into something that is beautiful. It's very encouraging to see people do that. Some people will take an old piece of furniture that somebody else has thrown away and they will take it and they will dismantle it and they will sand it and they will varnish it and they will put new upholstery on it and they'll turn it into something that is beautiful. Some of them will even sell it for hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Someone's garbage turns into somebody else's treasure. Somebody will take a house that somebody else has forgotten and doesn't care about anymore. And they will give it time and energy and love and they will be patient with it and they'll turn it into their very own mansion. They will customize it for everything that they need. And we who watch these things, we say to ourselves, this is wonderful. And we are in awe of how it is that someone has taken something that is so, that was once deemed useless, something that was once deemed ugly. And they've turned it into something that is beautiful and valuable and something that somebody else desires. If I am amazed and I am in wonder of how another fellow human being can take an object, an object that is temporal, an object that will not remain, and he will take it in its simple state and turn it into something wonderful. Should I not also be in awe and completely amazed with how the Lord is capable of taking human beings that are broken, that are cast out, that are deemed without value, that are seen as ugly human beings. And he turns them into people who share in his holiness and his glory. And he takes them and he turns them into people who reflect his very own image and likeness. People whom he says they were worth my blood and so they have value and they bear my image, the image of my only begotten Son. And so in them is all beauty. Should I not be amazed that our God is capable of doing that? Should I not be jealous and say that I want to be that object that is in His hands, which He transforms? If the Lord is capable of taking five loaves and two fish and satisfying the needs of thousands upon thousands of His children, how much more can he do for millions, if not billions, of people on this planet? If I offered myself and I told him, Lord, take me. Take me as broken as I am, as valueless as I am, as empty as I am, as ugly as I am. And remodel me, reshape me, recreate me entirely so that I could be a vessel that influences all of those people for your name's sake, not for my own. It amazes me how it is that I am so easily attracted by the beautiful things that other people are capable of creating, and I forget that my Creator tells me that He wants to turn me into something that is beautiful. Instead of admiring the works and the artistic depictions of people around me, instead of admiring those people who are capable of turning something ugly into something beautiful, maybe I should invest my time and my energy into actually being that object that the Lord takes and He transforms and He recreates and turns it into something that 
reflects his very own beauty, his very own image. The Lord does not care about loaves of bread and fish. The Lord does not want us to offer our money and our objects. He does not care about those things. He wants us to offer our hearts, no matter how broken and how corrupt they might be. If we offer him that, surely he will transform them. Surely he will recreate them. Surely he will turn us into those who reflect his image so that so many are fed because they will feast on the works of his hands. May we offer ourselves entirely to him and may he accept the offering that we bear to him. To him be all glory now and forever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen.